be doing for you all a recipe with this sweet potato pasta and it was sponsored by the guys over at Slim Down 360. So check them on Facebook and also check them on Instagram and see what they have new and what they have upcoming. So let me share with you guys a recipe on utilizing this pasta. Thank you so much to Slim Down 360 for sponsoring today's episode. So I just want to show you guys what the dried pasta looks like before I put it into the boiling water. Now this is made with sweet potato and cassava. Now you have to follow the instructions on the pack when making this. So you need to bring your water up to a boil. You're going to add in the pasta and I'm not going to be using the entire pack. I'm only going to be making a small portion. And you're going to allow it to boil. Make sure and turn it. Allow it to boil for seven to eight minutes. But I actually want to boil it shy of seven to eight minutes. I'm going to be boiling it for about six minutes because we're going to be baking this off after it's finished. And if you were to let it cook completely, that eight minutes, it's going to be too soft and soggy. So once this is finished, we have to drain it and run, run cold water over it immediately. Okay, so this is finished. It's just shy of al dente. I'm going to strain it. The water is very starchy. I don't know if you can tell. Next, you're going to run cold water over it. Okay guys, now to assemble. Now I'm not making a bechamel sauce for this. I'm actually just gonna be mixing everything in one to make life easier. So to a big bowl, I'm going to go in with my cooked pasta. Now guys, I'm using this gluten-free pasta. Um, you can use any type of pasta for this recipe if you like. I'm going to go in with some grated carrots, some tuna, and I'm using canned tuna. You can use salmon, you can use any type of um, fish you like. Some sweet peas, or you can use pigeon peas, whatever you like as I said. Some pimento pepper sauce, you'll find the recipe on my channel. Or you can use the Bertie's pimento pepper sauce. You're going to go in with some cheese and I'm using this New Zealand cheddar cheese and sometimes it can be quite salty so you can omit salt or you can add just a little bit of salt to this. I'm also going to go in with some cracked black pepper and some evaporated milk. Now I like using the chunky tuna for this because I like to get the tuna pieces in there. Next, empty your mixture into your baking dish. Now I'm making these into individual portions but you can bake this all in one if you like. Next, you want to top with some additional cheese. Next, it goes into your oven to bake until it's brown and bubbly. It's not going to take very long, maybe about three to four minutes. So guys, here you have it, my recipe for a tuna casserole. If you guys enjoyed today's recipe, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Make sure and press the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post a new recipe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!